Redford is uh, a national treasure and a legend, an icon, and he's uh, uh, and a, a great human being and a incredibly talented um, actor. So I wanted to uh, the opportunity to work with him was something I wasn't going to miss. Redford is somebody I've watched my whole life. Um, he's he has been in more than a few of my favorite movies, and I don't think there are very, very few people I could say that about. Well, I've only worked with um, Mr. Redford for a couple of days, uh, but he has an enormous amount of presence, um, and uh, it was quite a it was quite a thrill. Um, so um, I think that he brings something special to every part that he plays, and it's uh, it's partly who he is, and it's partly the character he's playing as a very talented, experienced actor. Um, it's fun to watch. Uh, I don't have one favorite. I have a lot of favorites. Uh, the Natural and, and Sting and... Um, all the President's Men, and uh, you know, even as far back as The Chase, he was a really young young guy with Brando, and um, God, he's just been in so many. Jeremiah Johnson, even. Uh, I mean, the list just goes on and on. Um, a river runs through it. You know, I've just watched him my my entire life. He's uh, he's been doing this really, really well, and he's still doing it really well. So. Uh, it's amazing, and as, as an actor, it gives you uh, some hope. You think, like, this is something to really th strive for and think about how you can build a, a career and, um, in the way that he has. And he has, and... Um, uh, he's quite an amazing guy, all his philanthropic work and um, all the work that he's done with the Sundance Institute and, and then all the, his activist work as an activist and then, and then he also happens to be one of the greatest movie stars and actors that we've, we've ever had, so it's uh, very impressive. He has contributed so much. Um, other than the, the beautiful movies that he's uh, directed and acted in, Ordinary People, to, you know, just um, through the decades, all the beautiful work he's given us. He's also, um, he created the Sundance Institute for all these la the labs that they do for, for young directors and writers and uh, producers. And um, he kind of changed American independent movies with the, the Sundance Film Festival in the, in the late 80s, changed uh, the way that we see and showcase some uh, independent movies. Um, uh, people like Soderbergh and, and Spike Lee and, um, you know, Gus Van Sant, they owe a lot to him, to the Sundance Film Festival. I think people can leave sort of comparing the two lives of John Hunt and Forrest Tucker and um, and what how they sort of changed each other and what that means, but also just having had a good time. Uh, excuse me, I'd like to open up an account. Well, great. What type of account do you have in mind? This kind. This kind. You said he was armed. He had a gun. You saw him. Well, he was also sort of a gentleman. He was very polite. He seemed like a nice enough fella. Look at that. Is he smiling? What did you say you do? Well, that's a secret. And why is that? Well, because if I told you, you probably wouldn't want to see me again. Five states. 93 robberies. In two years. You think you can catch him? Yeah, I won't lie. I'd love to slap the cuffs on him myself. So I hope I get the chance. <laughs> it's been 
gotten his whole life locked up, except for the times that he broke out. Somebody should have told him to quit while he was in. Well, you find something you love. Catch a boat to England, baby. Maybe to Spain. Wherever I have gone. Wherever I've been and gone. Wherever... I sat down with him once and I said, Surely there's an easier way to make a living. And he looked at me and he said, I'm not talking about making a living. I'm just talking about living. Send out for whiskey, baby. Send out for gin. Saraba, Itoshiki Outro. Me and room service, babe. Me and room service, well, we're living.